Rhino Guanach is the last outpost of the Irish language in the Dacia. A young Waterford poet, Brandon de Peyer, realises that here in this parish near Dungarvan is all that is left of the native tradition, a tradition whose future is in jeopardy. Irsma, his poem is called. Rodash de Chmishe, a mask pobble, Edimel Shanavara Vaili, Tangam of Inter de de in the Hua, Strongedi Mito, a Medira Blaster, or Valtes or Harakahuin, Dina de Holloch, and Oloch, Loch Kadrivis Oliad, not Tigin Mushkail, Loch Common, Rahud Gabale Harva in the Nuv, no Mardoch, Forvaga Evesem Vale, a Schlieger Dictor, Achmishe, Irsma, not Tigin, not Damanton Scale. Gurlair de Montorus, Gurrelig Nishgail. Evocations of the past are always tinged with sadness. In the Dacia, where once the light of native literature shone so brightly, the flame flickers, and nobody can tell whether the light will finally be extinguished. Here, a tradition has survived for centuries. Two centuries ago, a native poet wrote that he felt that the end was near, that his land of Dacia Moon was about to be conquered finally that the native voice was about to be stilled. Let us hope that Rhino Gurnach, at least, will survive. more voices from a hidden people next Saturday at 1 o'clock here on RTE1 and for more programs from the archives you can head over to the RTE player and look at the TV50 classics or visit rte.ie forward slash TV50 to see the full range of material available online and on TV and radio